Welcome to part 4 of YZ's travel guides to New York City. Have you ever wondered what you could do in Flushing, the largest Chinatown in Queens? What else is there to do apart from just eat? Tell you what, there's plenty. Stay tuned to the end of this video to see all the options available. Flushing is a 30 minute subway ride from Manhattan, home to many Asian eateries and has a large Chinese population. Surprisingly, there are many parks and attractions in the surrounding area. You can start your day off by eating breakfast or lunch in one of the many restaurants or eateries. And then you can go explore the Flushing area with this list. Number 1. Plane spotting at LaGuardia Airport If you head to Flushing, you will always be wondering why plane noises are so common here. It is located on a flight pathway into the airport. It turns out that LaGuardia Airport is only a few miles away. Plane spotting can be done on the Flushing Bay Promenade. You can take great photos of planes landing on approach to LaGuardia Airport. You will primarily be seeing short hull or regional aircraft here. Just be aware of people jogging around and always smile. Number 2. The Seven Line Train Depot As you walk south, passing through the city field, you will approach the Seven Line Subway. If you are looking for an alternative to the New York Subway Museum, then there is no better alternative than going to see trains firsthand in the depot. You will be amazed as to how much rolling stock is required to run the New York City subway. Number 3. Uni Spear Just another walk down, you will notice a large metal globe that is called the Uni Spear. It is a spherical stainless steel representation of the Earth that was commissioned during the 1964 New York World Fair. I went during the winter and autumn, but I highly suggest one goes during the summer, especially when the fountains are turned on. Number 4. Queen Zoo Another short walk away from the uni sphere is this quiet zoo. This quiet little zoo is very well suited for younger kids. During my last visit, I have noticed that the animals were quite well treated. Compared to the other zoos in the New York City area, the pricing is more affordable at $10 for adults and $7 for children. Number 5. Flushing Meadows Corona Park Home to the 4th largest park in New York City at 508 hectares, it is surrounded by the bay and consists of various lakes, freeways, museums and stadiums. I visited the place during the fall season and I can tell you that whilst the foliage of the leaves was great to see, I think that summer and spring are better times to go. This area is definitely a great chilling area from the hustle and bustle known as Manhattan, or in this case, Flushing. Number 6. Visiting the Hindu Temple Whilst Flushing is known to be a large Chinese enclave, there is a large Indian population that lives in Flushing as well. The Hindu Temple Society of North America is home to Flushing's Hindu Temple. It is also a very well kept temple. No photography was allowed inside. You should also visit the temple canteen for some Indian vegetarian food. I had no regrets eating there and I'm sure you won't either. There are other attractions I personally have not visited myself, such as the New York Science Museum, Queen's Night Market and the Queen's Botanical Garden. If you have enough time, I definitely say that Flushing is a great place to eat and explore some surrounding sites. That's it from me, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share if you haven't already. I am super grateful to my fans, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.